This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, and Red, it's me, it's Alex, and in yellow, it's what we call the ramble, and we go till midnight tonight here in the United States of America, and let me turn on my lights, oh there we are, now you can see me, there's always something I forget on a Wednesday, hi, how are you, good to see you, good to see that you're enjoying our commercials, <laughs> our promos, those aren't commercials. If they were commercials, I'd be making money, okay? I'd be making a quick buck. But I'm not making a quick buck here, okay? I've got my glasses on right now. Gee, I can see everything really clearly. I should wear them all the time. Anyway, uh, let me see here. we got to uh, bring in uh, our old friend who we talk to once a week. He's looking very orange tonight. I don't know why. Hey, how, how you doing? How come you're looking so orange? Uh, oh, there you are. Now you're okay. Yeah, I must have been too close to the light. Oh, really? Yeah. Go closer to the light. Let's see again. No, no, you're not. You're fine. All right. Well, maybe I'm dressing more like Trump these days. You're dressing more like Trump these days? Well, if I'm getting orange. I wouldn't do that. Well, it's you know the the orange look. It's uh, it's hot. Yeah, it's uh, hot. How you doing? I'm doing okay. You know, having breathing problems today. It's cold and it's wet, and I'm you know it's just my my. Uh, uh, when I was a kid, I had asthma, and it is feels that respiratory like, is that respiratory thing running around New York like it is California? Well, I don't know, but I've had something for a couple of weeks now. It's gone away every now and then for a day or two and then comes back. And I think it has to do with all the work they're doing on the building. Like right now, on this floor, every day they bring up tons of bricks hmm. with tons of dust with the bricks. So they're adding bricks or they're up just... Up on the roof or something like that. Yeah. So they're hauling them up to the roof, and they're using our little lobby here on this eighth floor to send them up, okay? Well, yeah. you know, that can't be helping my breathing, all that no. dust, you know. So I think that's what it is, and I don't know what to do about it. So Well, you know. uh, I guess you could wear a mask. I guess I could, but, you know, I'm in. I'm home. I'm indoors. What do I need to try, wear a Try it for a couple of days. For? Nah. Try it for a couple of days, and if that doesn't work, you said you had one of those uh, room deionizers or uh, no? I, ha I have a, a air purifier. I tried that; that doesn't help, you know. Yeah. So anyway, I don't know. I don't know. I may mean, I'm dying. I I don't have any coughing, and I don't mm -hmm. have any mucus or anything like that. So I don't think it's any kind of lung problem. Plus, I had my lungs. Uh, uh, looked at Checked. well I, when they did the um uh the ct scan yeah they did the, my lungs i know they did my lungs because they found a couple of dots on my lungs which are um uh, called uh their nodes nodes yeah. nodes yeah and one of them showed up about six or seven years ago i'm in a ct scan and hasn't grown at all okay Could that have been attributed to the smoking could have been, could have been attributed to a bad cold, you know, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, and then I, the newer one is a kind that very rarely, if ever, turns into cancer, and it was a very small one. So that's yeah. all that I had. They looked at my lungs. They didn't see anything, you know, so yeah. I don't think it's my lungs. I just think it's, you know, it's the weather and it's the building they're doing here, you know. Yeah, I'm surprised you don't, uh, you know, with them hitting, uh, what, what, what's the actual thing that they're doing uh, to the uh, to the grout between the well, bricks? Look, that's that's what's doing it. Yeah, what, what's that called, it, pinning? It's or? called, it's called uh, uh, pointing. 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 And what they do is they just, they, you know, drill out the old 
grout between the bricks and put in new yeah. grout. But it's got silica in it. Yeah. And plus, this grout, I guess, has got to be almost 100 years old or something like that. So who knows what they put in it at that time? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. They, so they could have all this stuff, it. and it's just all the whole building is full of it. And if you look out at my sills, on my window sills, there's all this... Yeah, grout. and you open your windows, so the wind will blow whatever that is on the well, sill. Well, we don't open that side, but it can yeah. still get in. I mean, these are not these are not the most secure windows. Not that I want to yeah. let any burglar know that, but you know. Well, if he's going to get up eight floors, he can have whatever you got. That's right. <laughs> you know, if he's going to climb, uh, you know, like what they call a second story well, anyway, man. I'm not wheezing or anything like that. It just it just feels a little heavy, you know. Man, yeah. I'm, so I've been I've been living with that. Hey, listen, I got to mention something here tonight, and it, it, uh, it, it, it I, I hate to mention it. Uh, Jack Bishop will not be doing his show uh, for How's at least he feeling? at least the next is, at least. Is, the, is it the computer or is it his is it his health? Well, it's uh, it's a little bit of both. Uh, the computer I can solve. I'll send him one of mine. You know, yeah. that's no Good problem. Idea. So I'll send him your old one. Remember the one you sent me? Yeah, the Mac. That yeah, was a good one. The Mac Mini. It's a good. It's fairly fast as yeah. Mac Minis go. But anyway, that's not. Uh, there are a lot of other problems he have. Some of which I'm sure you wouldn't want me to share with you. Uh, yeah. The one that I'm going to share with you is that he has certain health problems. You know that are making it very difficult. And because he's had trouble with this equipment breaking and everything like that, the stress is even exacerbating the problem. Do you think sending him a Mac and putting him on a new environment is gonna reduce his stress? Well, I think I think it will. I, at least I'm gonna do my bit to try and do it. There, there's a learning curve. When I went from uh, a, a, an IBM type machine to a, uh, to a Mac. This is gonna be very simple. I'm gonna put all the programs in it that he needs to do his show, which is about three programs, okay? Yeah. And all he has to do is just click on those. You know, he, he should be okay with it. Yeah, yeah, just give him a no-brainer, you know, step I one, mean, step come on. two, step three. Come, come on, what's a more confusing computer, a PC or Mac? Well, once you learn the Mac, uh, it's easier than, than anything. The learning curve on the Mac is like about this, where the learning yeah. curve on a PC is like I can't even fit it in the frame. Yeah. You know, so anyway, he's not going to be on for about a month, but I want you to know, he's, I told him, you're still a member of the Gabnet family, and I'll play his show every night, I'll play it different old yeah, show of his and you know when he's ready to come back on and his health is improving you know he's got quite a few things going bad for him he had that I know, whole he's got th diabetes uh, he, he had that whole a... thing with his back he then yeah. went he had trouble urinating so they sent him to a hospital mm -hmm. and they put a catheter in him and sent him home and that catheter has yeah. been in him for about two weeks now because that's the he, longest you can have it because he 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 can't he, he 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 tried to make an appointment with the urologist and they couldn't see him for two weeks. You know, uh, that, he should go to the emergency room. He shouldn't no, have that, it. He more. was in the emergency room. Yeah, but he should go back to have them remove it. Yeah, well, you know, I uh, mean, I'm not a doctor, and uh, but you know, yeah, 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 I agree it, with you. I mean, it's, yeah. it's ridiculous. I mean, he should have been able to see a, 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 a urologist the next day. If he's got a catheter in him, somebody should be looking at him the next day. Uh, uh, at least within 10 days. You know, when I had no, my No, I mean, you uh, should know. You, look, when there is an emergency like that, and when yeah. you can't pee, you should be able to see a urologist immediately. A, a oh, urologist yeah. should say, get your ass down here right now. You know, yeah. Marjorie, she had some troubles with her breathing. She was worried about it. So my doctor said, well, why don't we send you to a pulmonologist? So he gave her the name of a pulmonologist, and she calls up the pulmonologist's office and makes an appointment for two months later. Now, suppose she was dying of whatever this thing was, you know? Well, it's she should have gone to a, a philatelist. A philatelist? Isn't that somebody that collects stamps? A philatelist. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. You get an appointment with them faster than the yeah, pulmonologist. You, yeah, you get an appointment. Should we make an appointment with me? I mean, she can see me faster than, you know. Well, just, just have her talk to Alan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and he's cheap. 
<laughs> and he doesn't even have to take insurance. That's right. That's right. <laughs> But, uh, but I mean, so it was. It, it he's going to be out. He for he said anywhere from three weeks to a month. And there are other problems too. But I I am not allowed to talk about them. I understand. And they're per, they're more personal things with him than medical. So yeah. yeah. Did he get somebody pregnant? Yes, right. <laughs> and uh, he's he's taking her down to the abortion clinic, abortion and then he's going right now. Then he's going to run for office and say that yeah. he, does, he doesn't believe in abortion. I yeah. not uh, Walker's paying for it. Huh. Yeah. Walker's going to pay for it. Pay for it. Well, what uh, you, well, we uh, we did pretty well down there in uh, in Georgia. Yeah, you know, uh, and actually, I, uh, actually, as the votes finally came in at the end, he won by a handy amount of people. You know, a uh, hundred thousand. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, well, uh, Warnock got uh, at with ninety nine percent of the vote in. Warnock got fifty one point four. Walker got 48.6 mm-hmm. and there was about a, a little less than a hundred thousand votes separating them uh, based on the, that statistic. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but the funny thing is it, well, wound, it wound up being something like 53% to 47, I think in the end. Uh, oh, well uh, yeah. that was with 99% in that was what, it, what I picked up off the web. The, yeah. uh, uh, the, the, thing is it wasn't funny but there was only like three areas uh, atlanta macon and one other small athens georgia where the colleges uh mm-hmm. were went for warnock and the rest of the state went for walker yeah. now uh, because the population centers in those areas are uh, f- uh, denser than they than they are in other areas. That was what gave him the ninety some odd thousand. Well, you got you got to understand that that uh, the, those rural people. I mean, if you look at the map, it's mostly red. Yeah. You know, but those are counties with five people in them and no teeth. You know, I mean. Oh yeah. Well, I understand. Hey, you know, I listened to your Monday show and mm-hmm. it got very political. Matter of fact, I got triggered and I had a. You know, I had to sit in the corner and shiver for a while and think of my pronouns. I, it was it was so political, you know. Why was it so political? It wasn't that political. Well, you 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 started talking about politics on Monday. Well, you know, we were getting close to the and day. I got frightened, you know. So, <laughs> and you got you got the Mandy who lives in Georgia, you know. Mm-hmm. So that was her home turf, as it were. Well, uh, some people would say you call that living. Uh, yeah. You know, they they uh, they raided four more of Trump's properties and uh, they found a storage locker. No, they didn't raid it. Storage locker. They didn't raid they, it. This was another. A, this no, they didn't. Phil, Phil, they didn't raid yeah. it. Well, they they searched them. No, they were searched by Trump's own people. Okay, and they found a, a top secret document. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, they found a though, whole, They found a folder of top secret. Documents. No, in there there was more was than one menu. document. What? In there was a menu from Kentucky Fried Chicken with a secret <laughs> recipe ingredients. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. You were going for a joke, and yeah, I was really, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Uh, let's see. Do I have any other jokes? Uh, no. Uh, or see. things that purport to be jokes. Yeah. Hey, um, Kathy. Well, here's a joke. Kathy Griffith. Uh, blames Musk for the rise in hate as she beheads an effigy of Trump with blood dripping out of its neck, you know. But uh, he blamed Trump for what? What? Kathy Griffin uh, blames Musk, Elon Musk, for mm-hmm. the rise in hate as she be, you know, as she's had beheaded an effigy of Trump, you know. But that was, she, a, that was an art. That was an art. That was an art piece. But she, you know, she was banned from Twitter. Yeah, and she's been well, allowed back on now. Well, it it doesn't matter because Musk is no longer uh, the richest man in the world. You know what made, you know, Musk made spaceships that are going to the moon and Mars. Mm -hmm. He he has Neuralink, which will which will help people get over diseases. Mm -hmm. And and, unless you're, of course, unless you're a chimpanzee, in which case you're dead. Yeah. But uh, you know who the richest man in the world is today? Who? Uh, Arnaud, who uh, is the uh, uh, owns a Louis Vuitton, so uh, making plastic purses. But wait a minute! Wait a minute! Hold on a second! I don't believe you. Where did you get yeah. that information? Well, I, I, yeah, I get it off the news. Richest so, uh, man. So Louis Arnaud, Arnaud, mm-hmm. 
Uh, uh, no, it's, not, it's not Louis Arno. It's uh, Arno. A R N A U L T, I think. Uh, who owns Louis Vuitton, and they own a bunch of other uh, brands. It says it says here, Elon Musk, owner of Tesla and SpaceX company, who is yeah. of American origin, comes in first as the world's richest man in the world today. Yeah. No, he's he's second. He's no, no he's not. I, I I just read it. Okay, uh, who is the number one richest man in the world, person in the world? Elon Musk. Behind uh, Musk is the Louis Vuitton chair. Wait a moment, the LVMH chair and CEO Bernard Arnault. Yes, yeah. is the richest man but in the world. No, he's the second. Uh, how did, where did you the, where did you read this, Phil? I, I don't remember. I was just I was pouring through, you know, just general news. No, I think I, uh, uh, I think Musk is still. He has uh, a net worth right now at this moment of two hundred and three billion. I, well, I don't. Uh, the headline was this, that he was no longer the richest man in the world. But uh, here, there's several. There's several. Elon Musk is first. Okay. Yeah. Bernard Arnault is second. How yeah. did he make them? How, what? How much money did he make off of purses? I thought it was 145 billion. Well, if if because if, Tesla lost uh, a, a big percentage of its uh, stock price either yesterday or today, um, and that's what they say dropped him into. Well, the second okay, stock. if that that's the reason for it, it'll go back up, and then our no oh, yeah. be in. in the second place again, yeah, but Arno just... doesn't. Even if you take away the money that uh, uh, that uh, Musk spent for Tesla, I mean for uh, uh, Twitter, Twitter, and then take away the downplaying of, of Tesla's stock, which mm -hmm. is kind of stupid of people to it sell their stock. It was significant, though. Yeah, it but they they shouldn't. Have, they, I don't know why the stock would drop. I mean, people are being stupid because he just showed his trucks, which are amazing. Mm -hmm. They are just amazing. Did you hear? They the, get they get five hundred miles right. to the charge, and the charge gets up to seventy percent in thirty minutes. What happens once they put a trailer with eighty thousand pounds on it? They have done that, but they've uh, done that, I, and they've taken it up the grade to Lake Tahoe, up yeah. up uh, in the Sierra. And there's a shot, uh, one shot. Uh, the thing does not lose power at all. And in fact, it showed him next them to an, uh, next to another truck passing it. Wow. Uh, well, let's see. Um, Jack Dorsey, if you're still talking about Twitter, he says Musk should release everything without a filter. And uh, I, so, you look, know, I guess I, I'm not against that. Okay, I I honestly believe if you say. You know, I mean, there are limitations. There are things you're not going to do because they will hurt people. Okay. Well, I mean, I wouldn't want to see somebody purporting certain medicines and stuff, which if you took them would kill you, you know, yeah. as a cure for cancer or whatever. You got to be careful about that stuff, you know. Yeah. But I don't think, um, I don't think it's that, that terrible. You know, I mean, I think it, I think they should be very careful about yeah. it. You know, uh, but they are. So. Yeah. Well, uh, I just, I just think that if you're going to have something that says, "Oh, say what you feel," this is. Uh, uh, well, what you feel is different than what is truth. Well, it, look, I mean, you can tell non-truths too. I mean, but people have to know that what they're reading is not necessarily true. Don't trust anything you read here. But yeah, the, should be labeled the, with the trouble is more the people who read this stuff and then take it at, 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 its, oh, at as being gospel because it's on the web that are yeah. stupid and causing it to be dangerous. You remember when they said it's on TV, so it must be true? Yeah. Well, it's the <laughs> same thing. It's yeah. the same thing because if it's on Fox, it's not necessarily true. Yeah, well, at war MSNBC. Uh, yeah, I'll but, agree with but, you on that one. But so you're saying that when Alex Jones says that he doesn't like Hitler, it's not true. That he doesn't like Hitler. Right. <laughs> no, that's the first time I've agreed with Alex Jones in I don't know how long. Yeah. 
Yeah. Now, did you see him with uh, with uh, Kanye? Kanye? And, uh, he the other was guy, he was not necessarily agreeing with these guys. You know, he, he was, was afraid he was going to get stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, listen, I I don't know what's with these guys like Kanye, or even Trump, who doubled he, down. Mentally Wait a minute, who? So is Trump. I mean, I don't. look look at what he's done. The last. He's going to suspend the Constitution. You well, know, well, I mean, and then he invites I, I Kanye, an, oh. invites Kanye and this this Nazi lover to dinner at Mar-a-Lago, oh, and then oh. then he had a a what is it? A, 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 the, just the other day, he invited some kind of white uh, supremacist, Supremacy. yeah, to Mar-a-Lago. I mean, he's doubling down, just like Kanye doubles down, oh. just like a lot of these guys double down, and you know, come on, you know. Uh, Trump was being attacked from the moment he announced for, uh, that he was running for president. I don't believe that there's any way that I and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not that strong a person, but I'm, I don't believe there's any way that I could have withstood the constant barrage of attacks that came against Trump and his family. Uh, you know, at some point you're going to break. And uh, yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You don't think that Obama didn't go through that? Not nothing oh, like he, absolutely, this. absolutely, nothing. even more so because he was black. Yeah, they just asked him to show his birth certificate. No, no, other no. Other than that, no. But other, I mean, you know, believe me, all people who are president get these. I think things. people liked Obama in general. I, you know, well, he, we liked Obama. There are people who like Trump. Yeah, well. I, People love Trump. No, it's not, just that what do you mean? People Trump, love Trump. You, you're saying that as a general thing, no, there, and I'm sorry. 33, Thirty-three to thirty-nine percent of the people really like Trump. Now, in the last several that's weeks, that's not a lot when you're president. Well, you think Biden has much more than that? He has about uh, forty-eight, something like that. Forty-three. Something. Oh, right now because they're they're riding high on uh, the uh, uh, some you know the the economy's election. gotten better. Uh, yeah, gas prices right. are down. What are your gas prices these days? Uh, five fifty for regular. That's California, I think, because you got all those taxes they throw on there. But yeah. supposedly the national average is down around three thirty. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, if things are costing more money, even the crypto billionaires mm -hmm. are committing suicide. Or no, no, they're actually not committing suicide. They're just dying. Did you know that there, there's a couple of uh, the the big crypto guys? that started different coins two of them are uh found dead one was like 39 years old uh and you know they didn't hadn't announced any yeah, cause. i'm not saying i feel sorry for them you know no, no. Yeah. and uh you know uh, uh, what's his name uh, ted cruz mm -hmm. uh, this is a very unfortunate thing but he has a 14 year old daughter that must be in in a great deal of pain because uh uh, they say that she attempted to commit suicide. Now, maybe it was just well. A if I were her, if I were Ted Cruz's kid, I'd want to commit suicide too. Uh, no, in all too. seriousness, that no, in is, all seriousness, if I were his kid, I well, would want to commit suicide. You know, he he even you know went with his kids to Mexico just just because he promised. You know, I mean, it's tough being a dad. It really is. You know, you haven't you haven't had to experience that, but it is not easy. Uh, raising kids and and uh, they you know when 14 year old girls they're they're going through and even guys they're going through so much stuff at that age that it, it well it's then really why don't you decide not to run for political office because you care more about your family than being in 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 office oh well, believe me I will not be running for political office unless it's for carpet king but uh, yeah, Romney well wait a minute let's let's do it right now we yeah. now make you carpet king <laughs> or emperor maybe i'll be the carpet emperor <laughs> well so. come on you can't settle for king you got to be emperor well if it was south america i'd be alexa Hente carpet <laughs> so, uh, you know i i don't pick the uh, coffee beans until it's time yeah. romney i just found out is uh, going to run for president now that's called recycling the old stuff but he wants to pick uh, uh, possibly condoleezza rice as his VP. Well, maybe has anybody asked Condoleezza? Uh, I think so. Uh, it, she's under consideration, so mm -hmm. I would imagine you don't consider somebody that it wouldn't be interested in uh, in the position. Well, sometimes they just say that. 
they don't want to. Yeah. You know. Uh, I think Condoleezza Rice was pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, they, uh, oh, you know, you don't go out too much, but you know that uh, I guess Caroline's is closing. Yes, it's a that's what I heard. Yeah. Why is it uh, closing? Did they say? Uh, no, but it's closing the end of the year. Hmm. And uh, yeah, I guess that's a blow for comedy. No, well, I don't know. I, ne I never liked the club personally. Yeah. 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 Uh, and also, I watched a, a documentary. Uh, I sent it to Patrick and to, I didn't bother sending it to you because I know you wouldn't open it. <laughs> but uh, it was on uh, homelessness. Right, you are, what? Yeah, it was on homelessness and how it's such a big business and that homelessness will never be eradicated because too many people are making money uh, with their nonprofits. There was one and guy. Who did this documentary? I don't, I don't know. Uh, I'll send it to you. What sleazeball uh, made this? Uh, yeah, let's uh, let me let me let me look. Uh, let me see who I sent it to. And uh, okay. Uh, you don't even know who made the documentary. You don't know his well, qualifications. You don't know whether he's just a right winger looking to make a point. I mean, you got this uh, guy Denise Dinesh D'Souza. Uh, Jack Tran. Jack Tran. Uh, T R A N. Yeah, T R A N. Oh, Jake Tran. Jake Tran. Mm -hmm. uh, why no one wants to solve the homeless problem. Mm -hmm. hmm. uh, it was a very interesting documentary and. There's this one guy, his salary is a million dollars a year, and then what he does is he hires all his relatives, and he has a security company that he owns that provides a security. He has... Yes, uh, uh, let's see here. Jack Tran apologizes for nothing. CoffeeZilla has made a name for himself by exposing crypto and NFT practices by some of the top influencers in the yeah. world. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, well, you may be right. I don't know. Yeah, well, it was it was a very interesting documentary. Put it this way, uh, Patrick mm -hmm. uh, must have sent me like four message, messages after he watched it, uh, how, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, uh, he, he was upset by mm -hmm. seeing those kinds of things happening in his city mm -hmm. area. Tran apologizes for nothing. Coffee's oh, ahead. Hey, they like it so much they're playing it twice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, Jeff, Jeff got it. Okay. Yeah, he got it. I, I like when Jeff does that. He makes the point. <laughs> <laughs> he makes the point. Here we got Jeff, and we got Kevin, and we got uh, Alan, and we got Charlie. Yeah. You know, you're you're lucky. You have some loyal people that care about you and show up all the time yeah i feel real privileged anyway yeah. what yeah, you should be happy about what, what do you got your hand up for already there uh well because i just want to add some things to phil's stories okay go ahead I, ted cruz's daughter found out she was pregnant and really? since she couldn't get an abortion oh ah, no, alan this is not something that's fake news fake news you should be ashamed of yourself. That's what I actually I read that just now. Yeah. I, I can't tell you where like you. Yeah, no, I'm sure. Or she <laughs> found out her father was a Republican, one of the two. Uh, so you, you, teen, you, teen suicide is way up now. That's not something we should be joking about. Yeah. No, I was, and I wasn't joking. I felt that it was a it was a, a an awful thing and I and I, you know, and I realized how difficult it is to be a dad and how hard it is to be mm -hmm. a 40 year old girl well it could be a bad dad and that's why your kid was uh, it, it, I, you know i don't I'm, think so no, no i think no. i think no i i think that uh, there are many reasons why teens commit suicide a lot of times it has to do with bullying it has to do with uh, uh, uh you know pressures from groups and so on it's teen pressure pressure but in the case, in some cases, it's parents not paying attention to the signs. I don't think, you know? well, maybe to the signs, but I don't think not paying attention to his daughter was Ted Cruz's crime. Well, uh, we don't know. Ted Cruz may be a lousy father. We don't know. Hey, everybody don't, you, can be a lousy he father, but he may, be a, great, he may be a great father, too. If you don't, all I know, let, we shouldn't speculate about it. We shouldn't. 
Just leave her alone. She's a kid. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. I, you heard about the story, I suppose, in Texas, right? I mean. Uh, no, it's national. It's no, no, national. but he heard about it, I suppose, because he's in Texas. You know. Well, it's on the national news, too. But uh, Yeah. No. I, when, did, when, did, when did it come out on the national news? Yesterday. I yesterday? Think. I saw it yesterday on, on MSN.com. Yeah. You know, to me, if I had a daughter and she committed, tried to commit suicide, uh, I and I was uh, in politics, I might get just get out of it, rather than that may happen. Uh, 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 Ted Cruz left Washington and went home. Well, of course he had to go home for something like that. Come yeah, on, right. absolutely. <laughs> well, he's nobody in politics anyhow, you know, and so he ought to just leave. What? He, he's not important. Are, are you drunk again, uh, Alan? Uh, I'm mean? drunk. Uh, <laughs> I'm drinking, yeah, no, I'm drinking. I'm drinking your Kool Aid, Phil. Is uh, hello, Ray. Hello, Brian. Hi. Uh, Hi. Yeah, other Brian. B R Y A N. Mm. Did you yeah. get your fifty bucks back from Herschel Walker, Phil? Because he didn't win. No, no, he's going to dinner on it. Yeah, he gave it. I saw his concession speech. It was okay. I, you know? I thought that was the best speech he had. Yeah. That was the first coherent statement he's made. Yes. You know, I, I, I truly believe that the black community is the reason why Warnock won. Mm -hmm. And because the Republicans are trying in the South to cut the blacks out from voting and early voting and mail-in voting and all this other stuff, and the black community said, you know, uh, we're not going to take this anymore. We will vote for Warnock. Georgia, yeah. Alan, Georgia actually has more liberal uh, laws for uh, for extending the vote than uh, other states like North Yeah, yeah the newest governor tried to stop that. Too. By the way, let the uh, let the confusion begin. We've been joined now by another Brian. Another Brian. Oh, oh boy. Oh, really? Too bad, you, like, with uh, Skype, you could put all the Brians on one row. Uh, <laughs> Just point to us. Yeah. Yeah, well, no, I've, I've, one will be Mr. Neary and one will be Mr. Uh, let me see here. Sigma. Bathtub. Sigma. Bathtub. Uh, but uh, <laughs> well, funny do, do we know? Who, oh, I can uh, say Brian with an A and Brian with a Y. <laughs> yeah. The third Brian. Uh, that's the first time. I, that's the first time I've coughed all day. Uh, Jeff raised his hand. Yes. Yeah. Do we know who who won in Vermont? What do you mean? Who won in Vermont? Was there an election? I think there was. Vermont is just trying to. Uh, Get back to be uh, instead of a Democrat, they want to be a Republican. I didn't know it was contested. <laughs> yeah, I heard maybe the time. maybe the thing isn't done yet. What do you mean? Yeah, that's done. Everything is. This is the last unsettled. Didn't I? Some somebody must have said something. Well, this this is, this, is a, this was the last unsettled uh, congressional. Yeah, yeah I thought so. Georgie Zuckerberg. Yeah, uh, my friend Sally Kelly uh, uh, won uh, the Dem uh, as a Democrat. Uh, she's a state state senator, uh, for, you know, the state assembly uh, for uh, New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. So uh, she has uh, left uh, Carpet One, and she's now uh, a state senator. Again, Who's Carpet One. I thought we weren't supposed to talk about Carpet One. No, well, uh, she's a uh, yeah, yeah. So she was who, with who? Or, just just for uh, uh, grins and giggles. Uh, who, who by chance? And I just ask this because I don't know. Is carpet two? Uh, <laughs> they come. They come after me in the book. Oh, I see. Carpet. Yeah. Yes. Carpet mm -hmm. two. After yeah, they try harder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, two would would come after carpet one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh well, you know. Very nice. yeah. Mathematics one oh one. One, then the number two. <laughs> yeah, you just like Flicka. How many kids in the well, Flicka? <laughs> Three kids. <laughs> Okay. Well, no, that's yeah. it. That's what I did. I asked. Uh, 
<laughs> you know, I'm, so, uh, I'm sorry that Walker isn't around anymore because, man, he was good for some jokes. Oh, yeah. You know? Uh, so, anyway. It's so, all over with, you know. And, yeah. and wh I'll tell you what's happened here, Phil. And please, you have to agree. Trump is pretty much not a big deal anymore. I mean, everybody that he backed, that he went for, Except in, one. in major in major races, lost their races. Yeah. You know, but, and the Republicans uh, consider him persona non grata. They consider him poison. Well, I think where has he been since he got uh, since he announced he's going to run? He's been so quiet. Wait, wait, well, he's been having dinner with Nazis. What do you mean? Uh, Come on, that <laughs> takes up all your time. Uh, Veil your papers. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, but I'm. You know, uh, I think he has. He he was dealt a, a pretty difficult. Uh, he, he's been dealt a bad blow, and what I mean, think he was dealt dealt a bad bad blow. Every bad blow that he's been dealt. He has caused for himself. Yeah, but most of them were like Teflon. They just rolled off. But uh, these kind of uh, caused some damage. And now he loses all these court battles, okay? And then on top of that, he lost the one here in New York, the, the, uh, although he's only going to have well, to Well, that's the Trump organization. He, well, yes, but he was, it was stated on many occasions that he signed off on everything and he was, come on, you're going to tell me he didn't know what was going on in his own company? Well, and if he didn't know what he was going, what was going on in his own com company, what was he doing being president of the United States? Well, okay? you know, he's supposed to That's divest himself. Question. He's hmm? supposed to divest himself from his personal finances, and he had that guy Weiselberg. Uh, no, this uh, all these charges go back to before he was president, yeah, Phil. Hey, Weiselberg is the one that benefited by uh, these uh, these tax scams. Well, so did did Trump, and so did a lot of other people. In the, Trump in, was living at Trump Tower, uh, you know, and and he had a unit there. Well, you know. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. He was just renting from himself. Well, what are you saying? He had Phil? his office there. Phil, he knew what was going on in his company, and he knew well, the kind of shenanigans that this Weiselberg you know, was doing. You, you can't, you can't suppose what he knew and didn't know. Yes, it's I can. Yes, I can. Be, I can because in court, people testified that he knew. Uh, Weiselberg said that he, it was him that did it. The we CFO Weiselberg, uh, Weisel, uh, who who work, who did Weiselberg work for? Phil, uh, if I have a CFO. company, if I have a company. And and I hire you, and then you steal or do something very illegal that harms the company. I'm still to blame because the buck stops here. It's my company. Yeah, but uh, you know when you're running the country for four years, uh, he wasn't you know, running was the country before for... he was running the country. Yeah, this was before. He, this goes back 15 years, Phil. Yeah, he's a, he's an amazing businessman. He would have yeah. had his fingers on the pulse of his yeah. own company while he was in office, and that's the whole fucking point of if anyone it, who thinks but that he Brian. Did good. If it was yeah. anybody else besides <clears throat> Trump, they would have paid a fine, and it would have been the end of it. Uh, it wouldn't no. have been this witch well, hunt. Like they don't have to Wesley Snipes. They're getting. He's. They get. They're having to pay a fine. That's yeah. what. That's what the million no five is. Million, a million three. Million five is a drop in a bucket. Yeah. Just. Did, drop, well, I did mean. You forget about Nixon. What? Nixon, what what Nixon mean? had to do? He quit. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah, Trump would have. And he got Trump would have quit. I think got, we'd all be very happy. He he quit and he got pardoned. You know, he got he got rid of Agnew. He brought in uh, Ford, and Ford pardoned him, and that was the end of Ford's career as well, except for his advertise, uh, advertising for Viagra. Well, I uh, I understood why he didn't want to go uh, and and uh, the country, char charge true. Nixon with stuff because he felt it would not be positive for the country. You know that the 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 it would be better just pardon him, let him go away, and let's get on with the business of America. You know, hey, Alex. Hmm? Uh, uh, Alex. Yeah. All right. So I uh, I went through many of accountants when since I've been in business, and they're all pain in the ass. They really are. Yeah, they're so uptight. They could never have hypothetical conversations with you. Okay. 
it, that's their morality. It, I finally came across an accountant who would have these hypothetical conversations with me, like, what if I did this or what if I did that? What's this? And this guy would just he'd be perfect because he would have these hypothetical conversations with me. My point being is this, is that this guy, every year, he hands me a tax return and he says, here's a tax return that is accurate. And then he goes, here's one that's trash. Mm -hmm. If you want the one that's trash, you sign it. The reason being is here's a guy who kind of knew how to manipulate it, but he didn't want it to fall back on him. That's what Weisselberg was to Trump. Trump, Weisselberg was the accountant that said, well, this is this is trash, but if this is what you want, this is what you want. And he took all kinds of benefits from it. And it wasn't something that benefited just Weisselberg only because there was no reason for Weisselberg to have a uh, 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 a, a gain on it to begin with it, it, this whole thing it, it all starts from the top like you don't have an account accountants just don't like do your bidding well to... they, i'll tell you something uh, here's the point brian you do yeah. trump's bidding otherwise you don't have a job you know in other words you, you know uh, uh these people try to second think trump and don't do anything they don't think he would like all right so if, not, if Weisselberg was, let's say, arbitrarily that he was stealing this money, then Trump was really not paying attention to his company and not paying attention to the bottom line of that company. So he was a bad administrator of that company. <clears throat> Trump surrounded himself while president with some pretty good talent. Oh, yeah? Like who? Ooh, like who? <laughs> Believe me, there was Like there was who? Like talent. who, Phil? Come on. You said uh, it. Now uh, come uh, come up with the goods. Even even Kelly uh, was good, or uh, Mattis, or uh, you know you, you look you look at some of these guys. Now they didn't last, but he did surround himself with some good talent and uh, and some smart people, and that's what an administrator does. They delegate. Well, maybe also he didn't have he didn't have good people. They said. In fact, I saw a thing. With a bunch of people who are experts on this, they said he picked some of the worst people you could possibly pick. His yeah, own every family. time Gianni, every uh, time there was a light shined, every time there was a light shined on a problem, all of a sudden the people that were in charge were motherfuckers. So what do you mean that people were like the best talent out there? Even Trump would throw him under the bus the second yeah. he got in trouble. Trump throws everybody under the bus when he gets in trouble. That's his flaw. His flaw is is that he can never be Wait a wrong. minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second, folks. Everybody, take a big uh, uh, right a pause, pause and write this down. No, don't, you don't have to have a drink because he didn't say anything wrong. <laughs> Phil has just said that Trump has a flaw. Yeah. You know, Someone needs to tweet that. <clears throat> he's yeah. going to, he's, he's such going a nice to guy. Next week. <laughs> Good thing this is recorded because he's going to deny you said that. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, you know, it, it's uh, it's coming. But I, I believe that he's been under so much pressure for the last seven, uh, six, seven years that uh, I don't see how any human being can go through what he went through. And not... <laughs> well, he not was. Not, may, may I please tell you shit. that he was president of the United States. And I'm yeah. sorry. You can't be a pussy about it. These are the things that happen when you're president of the United States. All the spotlight is on you. All the criticism is on you, and is part and parcel of the job. Every president. But he's not president today, and <laughs> yeah, thank he's, God. It's yeah, but, but the, the problem well. is he's still got some stuff that belongs to us. Yeah. And a few a few days ago, he said he should be reinstalled as president, and that. Parts of the Constitution should be. No, I, have a, I have a problem with that. I, I took it. I took. I, I know. I took an oath to uh, to uh, protect and and uh, the Constitution of the United States and defend it. And uh, I have a problem with what he said. Uh, you know, it's well. You know, then you're going to have a problem with what I'm going to say. The only what I've been saying for years is similar, but it's not the same. 
and that is that I think we need to rewrite the Constitution. I think we need a new constitutional convention, and I think we need to sit down and really look at each amendment to the Constitution <coughs> and see how much of it applies today, <coughs> how much of it needs to be updated for today. What Wait a minute, let me finish, let me finish. Uh, so I've never been happy with the United States Constitution, but, you know, he just said, oh, let's get rid of it. What does but do you know today? what a shit show that would be? Yeah. Mm. So but the, we well, in this day and office. age, we couldn't do it because There's nobody no would way. agree with it, anybody else. There's no uh, way. Say, well, I'm, I, I, if we had uh, if we had uh, Josh here, he'd probably tell us how difficult it was to write the original Constitution. Exactly. I mean, what a shit show that was. Well, uh, it was. give me give me some examples of things that you would change today. That's in the Constitution. Oh, the Second Amendment. Second sure. Amendment. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm so, very pro the Second Amendment. No, yeah, but, but it's, it's so it's so ambiguous. It's so ambiguous. Yeah, I mean, if we're going to write it, and you want it like to, the First Amendment, right? How is that ambiguous, Alan? Well, that the First Amendment is there. The Second Amendment supports it, right? Well, yeah, what? that's what I think. That's what I think too. How does the Second Amendment support the First Amendment? Uh, it protects us from a tyrannical government. Uh, they did not write the Second Amendment to protect us from a. a, a yes, they no, did. No, they did not. They did that so they could go out and hunt slaves that ran away. <laughs> they did. That's Charlie, they did. Charlie, this shit. Charlie, there is steam coming out of your ears. You better That's good. believe it. Better. I'm tired of people lying about the Second Amendment. They're not lying. Yeah. Second Amendment was. It, it, it's all about fighting against tyrannical government. It had nothing to do with hunting and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, nothing to do with hunting. It, it's about a tyrannical government, and the tyrannical government well, I was agree. The I agree with Charlie that it had a it lot was to do with hunting slaves to run away so the South uh, could have their fucking uh, no, religion to go hunting. Was, it was about the out. English, Charlie. It was about their, that tyrannical government uh, trying to... Read a history book! No, the Second Amendment came much later. A no, few was, years, it was, but it, it was, was about because white people oppressing white people. That's bullshit, Charlie. What the fuck? That's that not is true. not bullshit, Brian. That's bullshit. Yeah, Read the history, but I I had to live with this my whole fucking life. I don't want to hear about this bullshit about white oppression. Live with whites with, are not with, oppressed in the United <laughs> States of America. Live with what? Live with what? The, the, the Second Amendment is, is clearly about a tyrannical government. No, it's it is not. It's, it's about people come, oh. having a standing oh, force so you can protect us from other people coming in, and, and that was the excuse the fir that they first, made. First of, all, first of all, calm down, Charlie. I don't want to see you have a uh, heart attack, okay? No uh, one is wait, dying wait, hold on the air. Second. Hold on a second. What were, the argument that we're having here is exactly why the Second Amendment should be rewritten, because... It's so ambiguous that Charlie sees it one way, Brian sees it another way, Jack, uh, uh, Jack uh, uh, Phil sees it another way, okay? And the fact is, it's a terrible amendment. It was terribly written. In order, yeah. you know. No one can know. It's impossible to figure out exactly what it means. It's just Not uh, for me. Jesus. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean, if you just read it, you know, outright. I, I'm not making a judgment on the on the validity of it. I'm just saying, just from a contextual. By the standpoint. way, Phil, do you have a constitution in front of you? In front of me, no. Here's Charlie does. Amendment. Yeah. A well-regulated militia, and nobody gives a fuck about regulation nowadays. About or that. militias. Well or militias. Militia being necessary to the security of a free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. That's all. Right, that's it pretty says. clear to me. It doesn't say anything about tyrannical governments. It doesn't say anything about hunting your fucking deer or the whatever. The right you look. of the people to bear arms shall not be infringed. That's but what it's it about well regulated militia. There is a. There is. A, hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on a second. There is a pre a requirement here that in order to maintain a well-ordered militia. Well, we don't have militias anymore. The closest thing we have to a militia is uh, is your state troopers, you know, yeah. things like that. Wait a minute, let me finish. And, and so in order to maintain a well-ordered militia, we don't have militias any longer, so the second part of it doesn't count. That's why the people are armed and they can stand That's why it needs needed. to be rewritten. We did not have a standing army during free during 
peacetime back then. A standing army. It's militia that of the people that we ride. did. That's you know, why they had agent. that in there is because you didn't have a standing army. And now and we have we don't a standing now. army. It might be the standing army that we, we have to defend that. ourselves against. Hmm. You know, I mean, hey, in the 60s, we had to defend Phil, ourselves Phil, against Phil, the man. It, it, you have to admit, it's a badly written amendment. It is, it is ambiguous. It is up for discussion. <clears throat> Maybe when it was first written, it wasn't. Maybe it made perfect sense when it was first written. But by today, with arms. today, with today's standards and what's going on today, it doesn't make any sense at all. But if, Alex, if one were to admit it's a badly, badly written amendment, yes, then, it, then the question should then be, how would one write it? And then we're all going to be at each throats. Oh. Exactly. It might have been purposely badly written because there was a lot of dissension over these things back then. And so sometimes they made it ambiguous on purpose in order to just sort of quell everybody. Satisfy, satisfy a certain amount of people. States, yeah. To keep the states happy. Yeah. And yeah. if you tried to do it today, nobody would be happy. Personally, this is my view. The Second Amendment, it's just that you're talking, by the way, this, this is coming from a guy who has no guns. No gun. I have no gun. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't need guns. I've never felt like I needed guns. And if I did, maybe I would. But the thing is, is that I, I see it. I, I see I, I see this point where, like, you know, this is all about keeping everything in check. You know, think about America being as an evadable, like, resource in North America. Like, you come, in, you come into this country— you're going to be taking pot shots from every window. There, there's no more national security that you could ever ask for than a well-armed America. I agree. And, and so, so, to, so to me, it's just. Oh yeah, then then it's then it's everybody shooting at everybody else. That's well, not true. But, well, personally, per, I mean, well, honestly, listen. What do you mean it's not, not true? That's almost what's happening right now. Well, this is not a popular opinion, but I will say this, that the people who actually die for this country are the children who die in mass shootings in schools. They're the people who actually die for this country, not the people who sign up to take a $20,000 bonus to go be an infantryman in Afghanistan. I'm talking about kids who get gunned the fuck down in schools where they never signed up for that shit. That is real noble stuff, mm -hmm. and 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 it's that th those people are dying for this country, and it and that's because of the rights to bear arms. So to me, to get rid of this stuff, man, it, it's a it's a slippery slope. Yeah, I, yes. I just I, I you can't get me to go along with it. Charlie? I'm a Second Amendment Democrat, yeah. ten thousand percent of the way, and it and that's just that's just how I am. But, Char Charlie, and then Ray. Yeah, I can name 60 people in Las Vegas that didn't sign up to be killed by that idiot in the in the hotel tower, and the 500 people that he wounded they didn't <clears throat> sign up for any of that either. Yeah, right, Ray. Well, also, also, there's more. There are so many people killed by handguns every single day, so more than the kids in the schools. We just don't. But also, I believe that um, all like back when the Constitution was written like all men were encouraged to be a part of a militia and so that's why it's it's sort of ambiguous because they didn't think of it as like personal rights to own a gun you was like in this you were in this organization that was a militia because we needed militias mm -hmm. to protect ourselves um i'm not i'm not discounting what you said charlie either i think that's part of a part of it as well well look look the constitution but, starts out as a lie yeah. with the whole premise that all men are created equal because yeah. when they wrote that, they didn't believe all yeah. men were created equal. They meant all white men were yeah, created equal. Right. Three fifths exactly. of the human here. Three fifths. Yeah, but it had a net result, Alex. And it's a quality three fifths, Charlie. I just want you to know that. Yes. And all yeah. women were not on that list. Oh, also. women weren't even considered. Women were zero. And, <laughs> women were no fifths. And people, right. who didn't, didn't. Uh, people who didn't. People who didn't own property. You know something? I often, like to, I, often like to think that, I often like to think that when America was formed, when this country was formed, uh, the women, uh, blacks were the slaves, and the second largest slave group were women. You know? 
And mm-hmm. because you don't see anything in the Constitution that talks about women, there still isn't anything like there. The uh, is there is, indentured is, servants? Wh- huh? Indentured servants I'll that they would bring over servants. from Europe that would have to work uh, basically doing slave labor for seven <laughs> years before they were freed. Well, many well, of those didn't were, get the vote until what, 1926 or something like that? Right. It, that took an amendment finally. Yeah. The suffrage was it 26 or earlier than that? Do you, do you know what came at the same? You know what came at approximately the same time? Uh, prohibition. prohibition. That's right. And you know why prohibition happened? Because the uh, the, the women's media. rights movement were forced it because that was part of the. Uh, it was all part of the uh, what do you call it? The uh, uh, anti-alcohol yeah. group. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. It was a religious sort of thing. Well, yeah. no, it, it was that women used to uh, literally get beaten to death by their husbands who by come home right. drunk. Well, yeah. Oh, drunk. yeah, right, right. There yeah. was a big alcohol problem in this country, and I'm not saying that prohibition wasn't warranted for a while. It tampered everything <laughs> down. But, uh, uh, you know, I mean, women were uh, hated the fact that alcohol existed because their husbands yeah. would go out and spend all the money the family had at the local bar. There were yeah. seven bars on every street in here in New York City. As but it made for uh, illegal trade because of uh, when it became illegal, then there was an underground... Uh, yeah, the speakeasies, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. That, but that still Bootlegs. slowed it down. That still like, slowed it down. And when we came back out of Prohibition, it never got as bad as it was before Prohibition. Okay? But, I mean, there was, I mean, the amount of beer that was consumed in this country, a large, in large part because a lot of times the only water that you could drink that had, that was safe was, was, was beer. Yeah. And what came out of Prohibition, was it the depre- times of the Depression? What? When we came out of Prohibition... We were were we in the depression or was I just think we went into the depression right after prohibition was that, prohibition lasted thirteen years I think yeah yeah so that was what twenty it came years. out it, uh, like nineteen thirty or something when the, when the uh, when they reestablished that you could sell alcohol but nineteen twenty nine was the was the yeah. crash so it was uh, I think part of the reason they gave up on prohibition was because it was costing the country money yeah and so therefore they didn't want to continue with prohibition they uh, could get tax stamps you it, know. right it was a, it's the same argument they're doing for marijuana nowadays is that the, the, they're paying they're, they're buying the stuff anyway why don't we get taxes on it yeah yeah, yeah except marijuana is the evil weed and it's oh, yeah. the devil's yeah. workshop yeah it'll force you to get an erection uh, work. <laughs> uh, maybe Phil ought to try that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, After a prostectomy, I'll try anything. Yeah, but I mean, it, it, it's really kind of, um, um, you know, I mean, uh, the whole concept of the Constitution being this end all on uh, in being wonderful. I mean, how okay. wonderful was it when you I, had? I, it? I'll give you the Second Amendment. Do you Let's know you got you, got you get rid you got rid of the. Uh, you got rid of alcohol, right, with the amendment in, in creating prohibition. And then yeah. to get rid of that, to stop that amendment, you had to write another amendment stopping it, but you didn't right. do away with the original amendment that you were they stopping. Cross, they cross it out, Alex. They don't, they don't cross it out. There's no crossing out. It's still there, but then you have another one, maybe I think it was three or four amendments later, right. that then the said... The other one's the latest, so, the one that counts. After the Second Amendment, what else would you change? Oh, I think women's right to vote, I think. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> what about anything from the original Constitution? Rather than I'd have to go it? look at it, but I, I think that what we need to do is look at each individual amendment and consider rewriting them for this day and age, because a lot of them are very archaic. They don't apply yeah. to today, you know? Yeah. Um, uh, I, I, I just think that you could replace, for instance, the, the thing that did away with slavery, for instance, the amendment that did away with slavery, and write something that's far more, pers- uh, uh, what can I call it, uh, precise. 
Than like what, the what Civil Rights were. Amendment that he, never like passed. Like the Civil Rights Amendment <laughs> that never passed, yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, uh, Charlie? Uh, the uh, 13th Amendment doesn't actually abolish slavery because you can still use slavery as a punishment for a crime, according to that amendment. And, and they do. But, and they do. They do. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of private prisons have uh, yep. poor, 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 and people of color working for almost no money, and they yep. and they can't. They have nothing. And yeah. no liberty either. Right. You know. So, yeah. I might rewrite that. Sounds like a John Lennon song. All I'm saying is we should look at the whole the whole Constitution and see what needs to be rewritten. You know. I, I don't say throw it out completely. I think there's yeah, probably I some... just I, I don't trust anybody. I, well, the problem I, I just... is, is is the problem you would run into today is just a total adversarial relationship between parties and so on. And nobody would agree. It would take you forever to write a new constitution. You know? I just want to point out that Ray's got, what was that, Alamo Square and the Seven Sisters behind you? Yeah. Yeah, nice shot. Yeah, I didn't take it. It's a stock photo I got from Adobe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what is, uh, I'm in front of Lawrence Ferlinghetti's bookstore. I, I know, I see that. I forgot. Brian, what is the tattoo? Br Brian Neary? Neary. Oh, yes, yes, Neary. What is the tattoo? Uh, um, Cadillac. Huh? Cadillac. I, you know... Cadillac. Cadillac emblem. Well, with, guys, uh, sometimes, you know, when they get a tattoo, they put the name of their wife or girlfriend on there. You know, I would have like girlfriend. all of them all the way crossed off all the way down one side. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I never got a tattoo. You know, Marjorie has a tattoo on her ankle that says, Buddy. And I just kind of, you know, I, I said, don't you feel bad about that? You know, because Do you have a dog or a cat named Buddy ben? is long gone. If, yeah, if you want to get a cat, let's name the cat Buddy, just so it so it fits. You know. <laughs> but I thought they have this stuff that you can take and it erases tattoos, literally. And I was uh, just going to erase. Action? I was just going to erase the Buddy while she was sleeping one night. <laughs> And when she, hey, Buddy's not there anymore. Yeah, why don't you go down and have him put in Alex? Less letters, it'll fit. <laughs> How come uh, the people uh, get these laser treatments to remove the tattoo? Yeah, very painful. Yeah, very painful. Yeah. Well, you, you, I'll tell you, you can get rid. You can't get rid of all tattoos with that. Oh, it depends uh, on the color. It's the color. Yeah, I think black mm -hmm. you can get rid of. Blue, it I think look, you can get rid. Of. It makes it look blurry. But it's Charlie, it, it, they're going it, after you again. <laughs> it makes it look blurry, but it's better if they do that or if they, yeah. if they you know, they have like a, you know, if they have like someone's name and a rose, then they'll change that, you know, and over, they'll do it over with like a dragon or something, you know, that's the best thing. To when do. I was uh, in Ibiza one time sitting on the beach, I was s sitting in this uh, cafe and there was a guy had to be older than I am right now, mm -hmm. right? That old and he wow. had a tattoo on his arm that oh. had kind of really faded and was droopy because his skin was droopy and it mm. had a name there and I, all I could do was think about you know he, he's had this all his life and he probably doesn't even remember what she looked like <laughs> you know <laughs> and that, that's the reason not to get a tattoo because eventually your skin droops and so will the tattoo and Tattoos do fade to a great extent. Marjorie says her tattoo is really half of the brightness that it once was. Yes, mm -hmm. first uh, Alan and then Ray, yes. Mm -hmm. so when when Brian gets older, Brian Neary gets older, it's going to say cataract like in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, yes, uh, Ray. Oh, oh! I just—it reminded me of the Saturday Night Live skit where the, where they had tramp stamps. Remember when they were getting those tramp stamps on their lower back? Yeah. And then the, the women would magically age. They would go forward, and the tramp stamps would be like just disgusting, <laughs> like things like going down their butt crack. Nope. Tell, tell Phil to take his shirt off. He's got a bunch on his back. I have no <laughs> tattoos. I have no tattoos. When I was a kid, it was just sailors, <laughs> sailors and bikers. It's like that's I can't get that out of my mind. That's why I can't get it up. And, and gang members. E, e yeah. Entertainment. E Entertainment had this show like in the two thousand early two thousand, 
Mm-hmm. And it was, uh, they were going out to the Vegas nightclubs and stuff. Mm-hmm. And we were going to a party, my, my ex then. And both the, her and her friends had those. And the, the guy from E! Entertainment, the one famous guy, he says, oh, he, he says something to them. And they turned around and he says, oh, and what are those signs for? You know, what are those tattoos for? And I told them it was for practice, for for shooting practice. Oh, okay. The tramp stamps? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because, like, you know, when they're... You know what they look like? Yeah. I got to tell you this. When I was a kid, <laughs> Party, I don't, I don't know if practice. you remember this. Party. 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 But in the, in the old days, back in the 50s and, er, and 40s, and maybe into the 30s, it, they had garbage trucks. And the garbage, they and they have now. But in those days when they had the garbage trucks, they were usually painted green. Yeah. And then there was this ornamentation on it, I guess to make the garbage trucks look pretty or something. Like and that Christmas. ornamentation looked very much to me like what the tramp stamps look like. Yeah. So every one yeah, I saw reminded those. me of a garbage truck. <laughs> Alex, you have, you have a tattoo. <clears throat> Certain kinds of pinstriping looks like. I have tramp- four tattoos. Yeah, four tattoos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, I have a. a you can few barely see it. Stuff. One here, one here, one here, one here. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm pointing to my stomach. Because I've never been able to see mine. I have some from the operation. Yeah, it's, I on have, his, it's on his penis. He hasn't seen that in a long time. Or yeah, really, tattoo. or yeah. my feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Charlie. According to Google, only thirty percent of Americans have tattoos. That's a lot. Everybody a lot I know has a tattoo. I can't believe it's only thirty percent. Well, you I don't know, Charlie. Uh, how many tattoos yeah, do you have, tattoo. Jeff? Zero. Okay, you can be buried in, Jew- in a Jewish cemetery. That's right. Let's see if it's thirty percent of us here. I I said to them when they put these little tattoos and they just little dots, right? It's where they can line up the laser. laser why didn't you so. Why didn't you get them along your eyes right here? The little dots. No, because like because it was for my this for how many guests these killed. It was for my drops. it was for my prostate and for the uh, uh, the radiation. That they did. Oh, yeah. they, they, they use it to align the equipment. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah, but they're just really. You, it, I, 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 in fact, Marjorie says, "Well, what's that dot?" And she saw it the other day, and I went, "Oh, that's one of the dots, right?" I've yeah. never seen it. I don't even know where they are. But they did them, and <clears throat> and uh, I, uh, I said to them at the time, I said, "I'm Jewish, and now I can't be buried in a Jewish cemetery." And they immediately had an answer and said, "No." The, the the rabbis have said it's okay to get this kind of tattoo because it's life saving. I forget the word they call it, uh, some hashimim or something, but uh, it, it's, it's called it's goyim. Allowed. Goyim. No, it's not goyim, <laughs> but it's. Uh, 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 Alan and I have a friend who's a very religious Jew, and uh, he knows the uh, the answer to that. Yeah, uh, but, but I would so think there, that there is. There is one other tattoo that you can be buried in a Jewish cemetery with. Oh and yeah, the uh, the, uh, a set the of, concentration. It's a set of numbers tattooed onto your arm. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you're in concentration camps. Yeah, That's yeah. Right. Well, the uh, Hitler version. Yeah. yeah, the Hitler tattoo. I think it's yeah, one of the. Right. I think that's one of the reasons they tattooed the Jews. That's right. Yeah. You know, because because it's supposedly you're supposed to leave this world the same way you came into it, and I with went nothing. I went, you know, what, bury you three, uh, in uh, six inches tall? What? You know, I mean. <laughs> Bill, Bill wants to be buried with his ass in the air. Hey, but, hey if that's the case, why when, did they get circumcised? That's what I was going to say. Yeah. I was just going to say, what, what what's with the it, circumcision? It's, it's, a, it's a thing about cleanliness, I think. Uh, yeah, but that's not how you came into the world. It's not how you came oh. in the world. But anyway, oh. let me let me bring up came something. Came in with less. There was a, a thing that was brought up before the Supreme Court just the other day about this woman who is a web designer, and uh, she refused to design websites for gay marriages, okay? Oh. Because she didn't believe in gay marriage and she didn't want to do anything. And the Supreme Court is now looking at whether she is right to not have done what she did, which wasn't take the bit where she refused the business. No, uh, no shirt, no shoes, no service. What does that right? mean? I don't get no it. No shirt, no shoes, no service. I don't get what so you're saying. If you go into a restaurant, you don't have shirt and shoes. They have a sign up. They say no service. Mm-hmm. Now, if the person 
is going to do a gay wedding or or something that the woman doesn't believe in, she, I think she has the right to to say no. This is not for me. I don't know. I'm kind of. can put a shirt on. How did you end up getting married then? <laughs> no, but I, I, I like I, girls, I, Alan. Unlike you, <laughs> I don't know. You know, I mean, I don't. Uh, I I don't agree with this woman's refusal to take the business. Okay, mm -hmm. but well, it, 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 well I, 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 let me put it this way. I feel that she. I don't know that she doesn't have a. If it's a religious belief. And she feels she's going against her religious beliefs for doing that, but that's not what she's saying. She's saying it's going against her personal beliefs. And yeah, what different. about the cake bakers? Uh, what was the end result of their I'm case? I'm trying to remember. I think they yeah, had... It, it was in Dallas, I think, or somewhere in like Texas. 20 years ago. No, or this so. wasn't 20. This was just a few years no, ago. No, 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 but there were these ago. cake bakers uh, that refused to bake a cake at, for a gay wedding. This was a couple of years ago in Texas, Phil. No, this yeah, one was I, thought it was, I thought it was in Colorado. As I remember it, the case oh, Colorado. Colorado. They were Colorado. Okay to do that. Texas, it was, it was like Colorado, what's ago? the difference? They couldn't force uh, her to do that. They couldn't force her to make a cake for a... Uh... Right, so that's why I don't think... If that was the end result, this precedent, uh, that might be what this woman will end up with uh, she's a designer Lori Smith said she wanted to expand her business to offer wedding sites but she did not want to peddle her wedding services to gay clients based mm. on her religious beliefs huh. she so worried that, that she would run afoul of Colorado state law which prohibits businesses from discriminating based on sexual orientation so she sued state officials claiming that forcing her to provide services to gay couples amounted to endorsing their marriage and violated her free speech rights this i is, have a question this is kind of complicated i think you know i have a question alex yeah what kind of narcissist would go into a bakery find out that someone doesn't condone your way of life and then demand that they make them a cake i i i, I to me was it that I, I, way, or did somebody just want a cake and they said no? Then take the F and no. And go I, somewhere I, I else. Well, Mike, look, look, I agree with you. Go next door and buy a cake right. from the guy who will. Absolutely. You know, I'm sure you can find enough bakers who'd be willing to bake you your penis <laughs> penis cake, you know, uh, 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 you know, your cake. Uh but they, cake but but what that. happened is they went and did that in order to then make a point out of it and then make a case out of it. I think that's really what was going on because, and so far as a website to take care of your wedding needs, hey, okay, you don't want to take my business because I'm gay? Screw you! I don't want to give you my money. I'll go to this person. Yeah, the, uh, I'll go to Alex the, Bennett who will put together a website for me, and you know. But that's what is going on here. They're what, not what, saying we'll take our business elsewhere. We're saying no. You're gonna do. You're gonna do this business, and we're gonna. I mean, I don't know. It, it seems something very narcissistic about it. I don't like <coughs> it. It, it. It strikes me as very odd to just sit that's, there. And, but one of the I mean, things that I wait, wait, do, wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Ray had was uh, saying. I just want to say I I agree with you, Brian. But the the point though is that. I, I'm not making a judgment either way. I'm just saying it is maybe narcissistic, but on the other hand, it is a valid issue to that for us to decide. And so the people, uh, you know, it could be their motivation. Well, they feel a res is, is it possible they feel a responsibility to follow through because they think it's wrong. Hmm. I don't. I mean, and not narcissistic. You know what I, I mean? Yeah. Okay. And also, I, like, I, like, 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 uh, sixty years ago, we have to, we'd have the same argument and say, well, someone, I, I don't want to bake black uh, cake for a black yeah, couple. Exactly. Right. Because, be, you know, I mean, and that was okay. So, so, like, what, what, where do you draw the line? Well, just remember, when you get on an airplane now, you can't smoke a cigarette. Thank you, God. Yeah. Thank God. Well, you're right. endangering other people's lives. But that's the way it was done. But and, you can get and on it was an also when you right came to work. A mask and endanger other people's lives. Yeah, I got I got COVID from that. Yep. 
So. It's a bad move. But I wore a but mask, but nobody else did. Uh, <laughs> but could, uh, Jeff, what, what, what's the cigarette? No, go on with that. What's the cigarette analogy? Well, the cigarette thing is that there's people who still buy and, and smoke. The question is, you, the equivalent of you can't smoke in a restaurant, you should be able to buy a cake. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, like one, it, one, one has a valid reason because yeah. you're you're hurting people, but you're not hurting anyone by buying a cake. That's well, right. a cake, no, a cake may not very well, uh, most somewhere healthy, somewhere along the line have. somewhere along the line, and and in this Brian uh, with the Y is is right that yeah. that somewhere along the line somebody had to might want to make a case out of this. Right. So who was yeah. doing it to make a case out of it? Was it the gay people who wanted the cake, you know, or wanted the uh, the, the website? Uh, like the black people who sat in the counter at Woolworths. Yeah. I'll give you a better one. I interviewed John Scopes years ago and got to know the man. And it turned really? out, I said, uh, do you really believe in what you were fighting for? And he says, well, not in the beginning, because really the reason I agreed is they needed somebody to test a case, to test the law in Tennessee. He said, and so I said, they said, would you be willing to go along with it? And we'll give you a trip to anywhere in South America you want to go on vacation. <laughs> and and he, said, he, said, he said, so I did it, you know. I said, did you ever teach, uh, um, uh, what do you call it, the theory evolution of relative evolution in your, uh, in your classes? And he says, I really can't remember whether I did or I didn't. He says, I was a phys ed teacher. <laughs> you know, he said, but they put an ad in the paper, the ACLU. So I went and answered it. And that's how the Scopes Monkey trial happened. Okay, it wasn't because somebody was uh, uh, bothered by the fact that this guy was teaching evolution in his classes and blah, blah, blah. No, wow. they wanted to test the, the law. Alex, the, the problem that I find is that, to me, personally, this doesn't pass the sniff test. You got, you got, a, you got a cake maker and bumblefuck whatever, Michigan or wherever the fuck <laughs> it is. And... They, they go, we don't want to make a cake. And then someone goes, oh, we're going to make a fucking example out of you. And what they did was they totally exploited a, a small business owners, whatever the fuck their values were. Mm -hmm. It's not the same as mine. I wouldn't give a shit. Mm -hmm. But they exploited it. And now they're making a big example out of it. And I asked myself, I go, you son of a bitch. If... If, if I were a gay man and I wanted a cake being made and someone didn't want it, I'd go, fuck you, you don't get the business. Right. And, 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 but, and, but that's not what's going on here. So it doesn't pass the sniff well, test. Well, it's, it's kind of like the Scopes Monkey trial. I mean, they wanted a right. case to be able to be made to try and change law. Right. Okay. Yes, which is Which is what happened is the Supreme Court ended up with that case in Colorado, and it was... Uh, ruled in favor of the cake maker not to bake that cake. Yeah, right. Okay. For religious beliefs by a Christian, because he was Christian. Religious. But this uh, other religious one, beliefs. Religious. Charlie, pardon? Got his hand up. So the other one, other one is, is the other one's a the other one's a website. So it's totally different. Yeah. Yeah, Ch Charlie. It's a cake website. Yeah. The problem with what Brian with the Y was saying is that what happens when you can't find the store that will make a cake for a gay mm -hmm. person. What happens if there is a store that makes a cake for gay per gay persons and the Ku Klux Klan then burns that store down? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so I mean you can't I mean you can't assume that, like sometimes it could be a lawyer putting someone up to it. I mean there could be a million different reasons that Oh, I'm happen. sure that these cases were somehow somebody put was put up to it. Yeah. Some somewhere, yeah. either on the right or the left, I don't know right. which. Yeah, that's the way but works. somebody was yeah. trying to make a case because, quite frankly, if I were gay and I went into somebody and I said I want a wedding cake for myself and my uh, intended, uh, I, and they said, well, "I'm sorry, we're not going to do a cake for a gay wedding," then I'd go next door and buy a cake from somebody who would. All I'm right. looking for is to get a cake made. Mm -hmm. 
But oh, yeah. if I'm now, if I'm looking for a case to be, you know, and I've heard about this guy that wouldn't make the cakes, then I'd send some people in to do it, and then those people would turn around and sue the guy, and you, right. you've got some kind okay, of landmark yes, case. Yes. You know. there, there are organizations <laughs> like the ACLU who do that kind of thing all the time. It happened here in Palo Alto. There's a park where the ACLU decided that they wanted to have it open to everyone because they say it was uh, discriminating against discriminating. the minorities in mm -hmm. East Palo Alto who never go to the park, who never go to that park. And it caused like unbelievable strife, and it was a lawyer who put someone else up to it. To well, it was the ACLU who did the thing with John Co Scopes in the Scopes yeah. Monkey Trial yeah. back in the '30s in uh, Tennessee. Uh, you know, um, but you know, the great thing about the Scopes Monkey Trial is, out of it came a great play uh, called "Inherit the Wind" yeah. that you probably yeah. have done in one time in your life I as an actor. I, well, I've read it many times. I can't believe you interviewed How old was he when you interviewed him? You I can't remember how old he was, but I got to know him. That's I, great. I, I, wow. I interviewed him, and then I, I got to meet up with him, I think, when he came to Houston. And my wife, Ronnie, and I were friends of his. Do you have a recording of it? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, but it was one of the best interviews I ever did. Ah, I yeah. wish I could hear it. You're not gonna, You're not going to believe this, but... I studied wedding photography with a great photographer, Doug Gordon, who's number one wedding photographer in the country several years in a row. Uh, and um, I volunteer. I will shoot weddings for free for people that can't afford it so that they can have memories of their wedding. And this book called Capturing Love, I was studying how to shoot a gay wedding. Uh, and uh, so anyway, that's... God, that uh, gives me the willies. Yeah, you probably you probably don't understand, you know, well, Phil shooting a gay wedding, but yes, uh, because people some people need to preserve those memories, and that's what photographers. By the way, do. by the way, I'm getting you know what I'm getting sick of. I gotta say this. I mean, look, I have I'm not homophobic in the least. Okay, ever, nobody could accuse me of it. Uh, <clears throat> but. Every TV show, it seems now, there's some kind of gay scenario going on in that yes. show. It's oh, like yeah. a requirement. It's and like a requirement, too. you know? Yeah, the Chinese child with a black and white family. I was you know. watching this show, uh, his, uh, his, dark, uh, majest his dark, dark Majesty, or whatever it's called, on HBO, and there are two angels who gay then angels? Them yeah, they plant a kiss on each other, and I'm going, <laughs> you know, come gay on. angels! If you've got to have two guys kissing on this show, find another two people, but two angels just doesn't Thanks. work, okay. you know. Hey, Alex. <laughs> yeah. well, let me give you a, an interesting example yeah. that happened to, to, to Pam and myself. Mm -hmm. We had good friends, black mm -hmm. friends, who said who we said we're going to go to a certain restaurant that we went to all the time and they had never gone before and we'll meet you at the restaurant well they got there first and so the we normally got different nice seats you know normal great mm -hmm. seats they put them in the shittiest lousiest place to sit in the yeah. whole thing yeah. how long ago was that Hmm, five years ago. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hey, listen. Yeah. There's and the, guess what? We just never went to that restaurant again. There's the Good. theme. Uh, 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 Brian with a Y, you had something you wanted to say quickly? Uh, yeah, uh, I'll make it quick because I know you're running out of time. But um, the, the town I grew up in, until the civil rights movement, they could not sell a home to a black family. Okay. Oh, redlining? Yeah. Uh, Pittman, New Jersey. You can look it up. Yeah. Um, but what I'm saying is, is that, you know, as time goes on, we have we we have we have grown since the civil rights movement, and we have to believe in capitalism mm -hmm. in just a minute, just a little bit. Yeah. Hey, well, listen, we we're, we're, I got to go because we're running out I of time. I love you, buddy. I love you, you, too. God bless you. Uh, hey, there's no well, Jack show. Let me you just... Me leave? There's no Jack show. There's no Jack show tonight. There won't be a Jack show for about a month, I think. No, I got to leave. Uh, so uh, but we will be playing an intersection right after this. But Is Jack okay? Uh, he has some health He's issues. He's not feeling too well. Okay. Yeah. He's Less than the beginning of the show. Okay. 
Yeah. But anyway, listen, I thank you, uh, Phil. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Jeff. Thank you to, to Kevin. And thank you to uh, 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 Alan. And thank you uh, to uh, our, our good friend, uh, Charlie. And Brian with a Y. And Ray with a Y. And uh, <laughs> Brian Neary with an A. Thank you all. <laughs> Why don't you give a big wave goodbye? I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our that's our uh, citizen panel. Uh, and uh, Jack is not going to be here tonight. He won't be here for probably about anywhere from three weeks to a month, I'm told. Probably after, till after the first of the year. So we're going to be playing some old Jack shows uh, and, uh, you know, whatever. Anyway, uh, just wanted to let everybody know that. Uh, we'll see you again. When is it? Oh, tomorrow. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody. Have a nice night. <laughs>